Welcome, we've just installed Arch Linux D, and this is just an overview picture. We've also uh, installed ZSH, by the way, so we have this uh, themes coming up, dark blood theme. And it all makes a different kind of look when you type things in. Um, so this video is an overview. This is Arch Linux D, it's XFCE, and then. All right, so then we have um, different workspaces. We can switch our wallpapers in here. There is this desktopper we can uh, make an account on. We can go to next image, so the next wallpaper. There's also the wallpaper selector, which is also pretty cool. So you see something like this one. Ooh, I'm not gonna keep that one. Um, this was much better. Um, and all these things are, are just, just clickable. Right mouse click, close. Out. Right mouse click on the, well, let's let's go again. The right control on your keyboard and then the right click on the mouse. Then you get to the preferences. Then you can say, let's put this thing on the top. And then we have lots and lots of theming things. Let's um, maybe we make it in red because of this red here. Let's keep the wallpaper. So I'm gonna say wallpaper, never change ever again. So pause on current, that's it. And then we are going to check out the system. So this is probably the most interesting part to go to in the sense that this contains all your settings, Syst set kiss blah, again, your XFCE custom settings here because custom because we have added some elements here. There's a fixed hard code icon, maybe Eric just check it first so if you scroll through all these icons they're all cool looking normal in a sense it's uh, mono colored and I hope there are some oh no <laughs> we ran the script in Arch Linux D so whenever there's an icon that's out of color we run this script here the fix hard-coded icons and then if an icon is not following your theme then and well an empty window means everything is fixed, fine. So that's an interesting thing, but we ran it already. And uh, blah, 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 quick system info, if you want to supply us information on the forum, hey, something is not working, this is my hardware. Copy paste, put it on the forum. System profile and benchmark, beautiful system, same applies, but this is more graphical, you check out what it says and analyze what's in your system. And then the looks, of course, the looks, uh, we have now this arc dark, which is a bluish kind of look. But if you want to go all green, then we are now all green. And they are named after the icons, you see. Evo Pop, Frolly Dark. And you can change, you can of course go to the white as well, like so, all white, it's what you prefer. And there is this one as well. So, choices, choices, choices. What else? Icons, a lot of icons. I've installed the Sardi Extra icons, which provides us 120 icons. Let's have a look. So we know the number for future videos. Icons. At this point in time, we have 166 folders. So everything from XFCE, so Papyrus, Breeze I see here, Numix I see, Savvy. So I guess I'll be having enough choices. 166 icon choices. That's a nice number, right? So this is all possible. Let's think about red background on um, Sardi Mono Papyrus Colora, maybe. How about this look? Oops, that's my mistake. That's gone. Uh, so we have this um, red color in the wallpaper and now we have these uh, icons as well that look a bit similar. So anything really goes, so you just choose your icons. The fonts, the not of fonts, sans fonts. Uh, bigger smaller has been set to 11 so maybe you'd like it rather on 10 again so it's all here you want images on buttons yes no so lots of elements you can change 
and now I have closed my XFCE settings. Anything else? The Conky Zen maybe? Maybe you like a Conky. Uh, let's take the Nemesis one, the one I usually take to show you guys. So Alkalin XD is here. So we have a Conky Zen Extra and we can have some fun as well. Just including a little tutorial I'll always teach. I will be a teacher forever. So press spacebar to sample color under mouse pointer. So let's take this one, that one, that one, this one, that one, that one. All kind of reds. Uh, let's decide to go for this one. Oh, what did I do? I removed everything. So. Ah, come on. And then right mouse click. Copy to the clipboard. Click. Now I'm going to change this blue into red. How would this look? So yeah, I had another what if in my head. What if I changed the blue? But blue is also good for this one, of course. But okay. Doing the, the motions. So Conky, going to the AOR Nemesis. Nemesis, Nemesis, where are you Nemesis? Here you are. Nemesis, opening it up. Doing it like this. Ah. Oh yeah, there's a, a neat, neat little trick. Is it working here? No, the trick is not working. So we really need to go to the top here. Whoop, and like so. The trick is um, Alt and then right mouse click to make windows bigger, but not this window. Boom, 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 boom. Blue. My guess is this one. I don't know, we'll see. Nope. I know it's, it's nice though. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It's just the red is not, not too, not uh, red enough. So, G big. Where are you? How about this red? It's not gonna be dark. Not not uh, light or bright enough. So I'm gonna go to my scheme generation. This is probably gonna be too red. So I'm gonna find myself. A red that's really red. Add to the palette, that's quite red indeed. Let's see. How about this one? That's already better. Better what if? But I must say the blue was actually better. <laughs> So, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, super button, Ctrl Z. There you go. So, leaving it as is. Red was also not bad, but hey. So, you can change a lot of stuff. The conky is there, uh, themes there. We've done now, we have not changed, well, we've changed the, the folders, so the file manager here. We've changed the appearance, but change, did not change the icons. So, we can completely change the icons by going to the Surf and UX, for instance, or Surf and Orange, maybe red, because of the the color in the wallpaper. So really, anything goes, and um, that concludes our little video here. All right, cheers.